and record. And uh, once more for posterity, um, thank you so much for joining me for big, bloody, breaking Blu-ray news. Uh, again, I am Michael Keane, and in theory, this is not going to suck. Of course, now I'm not getting the chat box. God damn it all to hell. To hell. There it is. There's the chat box. All right. I don't know why I have to reset it every time, but this is the way of the streaming, apparently. Ugh. Of course, as usual, you can get your fill up the vinegar cat t-shirts over at uh, my, my merch store down below. Check that out. If you haven't already, go buy some merch. Um, just, just you know, hang dry. Hang dry. Um, oh, and it's going to go out the second... <laughs> it's going to go out the second I try to sell merch. Um, oh, man. Man, oh, man. Uh, yeah, if you if you missed it, buy, buy merch. Buy, buy my merch. Buy this big muffin top cat thing. And uh, wear it on your body everywhere you go. People will give you weird looks, but that's okay. Weird looks are okay. There's nothing wrong with weird looks. Um, and as I noted before, we are uh, recording this. I'll probably uh, ditch the live version when I uh, when we finish up, and I'll uh, just upload this version. <laughs> Goddamn. All right. Well, let's just dig into some some news, uh, get through this thing, and hopefully it clears up a bit. Um, I, uh, by the way, uh, I'm going to have a, um, a, a, a fan unboxing, uh, video coming out this week at some point and a little spoiler, but someone got Michael a, uh, a little, a little car bung, car bung, car bung. Uh, and I'm very happy about that. Thank you so much, Dom. Uh, I, uh, I appreciate it. And of course, if you're a patron, you can send me stuff. You get you have my my mailing address. If you're not a patron, you don't get that, okay? Cuz I don't need just some weirdo. I don't need some 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 Richard Ramirez wannabe sending me all kinds of weird shit and then slitting my throat in the middle of the night. Come on. Um all right. So let's uh let's dig in here. Let's bring up the old monitor for our first bit of news. And the first bit of news is drum roll, please. I don't have a drum, but Shout Factory! Oh, I oh god, I just oh I just choked my spit. <clears throat> uh, so let's uh, let's 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 see here. Um, Shout Factory doing their thing as per usual. Uh, just just hating on the little man. Uh, of course, they just were selling out of they live Blu-rays. They were really promoting it. You know, you got to get these Blu-rays. They're selling out. They're not going to be around forever. And then whoop bam, 4K UHD. Motherfuckers, with a forty-dollar Frank action figure, forty dollars, forty dollars, forty fucking forty dollars for a, a doll. Um, let's see, does does he come with the cool background? I don't think he does. He might actually. I don't know. I didn't actually look at this, but uh, yeah, look at that. Um, Four thousand units. Approved by actor Keith David. Keith David was like, "Yes, that looks enough like me. Let's do it, do it, do it." Uh, that's that's my Keith David impression. I uh, I apologize. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, let's see. The figure will be housed in a collectible retro box packaging featuring original theatrical art. Cool. I'm not buying that because I don't give a shit. And then of course, so they have in addition to to double dipping. They're double dipping, let's see, 1 2 3 4 5. So that's five times they're they're 10 dipping if we do use multiplication. I don't know how math works in regards to double dipping, but um oh man. Um okay, so I don't really give a shit about any of these. Uh, I don't play vinyl. Uh, I know I'm awful. I'm I'm a bad hipster, I guess. I don't know. But um you know, all we really care about in this household is the uh, 4K or Blu-ray itself. Um, so you can get the it with a poster. I don't know. I'm assuming the limited edition poster is this artwork right here. I I'm assuming. I I don't know. You know, they don't say which poster it is. I don't know if it's like old art, new art, whatever. I, it'd be nice if it was this one. This is a good. This is you know, classic, awesome looking uh, poster right here. But, um, yeah, so pretty standard issue packaging. Is this, is this the first Shout Factory 4K release? I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. 
but uh, this is this is what we're going with, I guess. Actually, I can just I can just search for 4K UHD, right? Oh, right. I forgot about some of the. Uh, okay, so the first like, other than the Deer Hunter, the first like notable 4K they've put out. Um. So yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it says disc one, 4K Ultra HD. I don't know. I'm a, since they're not advertising it, I'm assuming that means it's not a new transfer. It's just the old transfer um, in 4K, which, fine. Um, and then, of course, you get 7.1 Dolby Atmos audio. I don't know. There's no link to my PayPal donation bar. Uh, let's see here. Let me let me do a little checky check. Uh, this thing is driving me nuts. Let's... Uh, Let's see. Let me just go on over. God damn it. Come on. Let's just deal with this thing as we deal with it. Let's just deal with this thing the way we deal with it. Let's deal with this thing the way we deal with it. God fucking shit balls. Deal with this thing the way we deal with it. I don't know how to do a lot of things. Do 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 do. Oh, look at that! Yeah, it it copied over the wrong information when I got it. Stop fucking with my shit. Okay, I, I changed the description, so the description has the link to my uh, donation bar. If you want, you can uh, just check me out right here. Well, not right here. You can add to this beautiful donation bar by checking out the link below. You might have to reload the uh, the stream to see it. I don't know how that works. Uh, just for the sake of things, I will drop that link in the uh chat just to make life a little bit easier one second bada bing bada boom link is dropped in the chat thank you so much uh for pointing that out i didn't realize that uh youtube had uh done a thing admittedly this is my fault i i should be the one making sure these things are right but i'm not you know i i get used to a, a way of doing things and then i'm like cool this is how it is done now. And then I, I stop learning. I stop learning the second things are a-okay for me. And then motherfuckers like YouTube and Facebook and all these other corporations are like, we can make it better, guys. And they don't make it better. They make it worse because it makes me have to learn again. And Michael don't like learning about nothing but nothing. All right. Michael likes to get high and talk about movies. Shit. And drop out. I like to drop out. Fuck. All right. Um, so anyway, uh, so 7.1 Dolby Atmos audio. I don't know what, why do you need that? I don't like, that seems like overkill for this. I don't, I'm not sure what exactly, I, I don't understand why it's Dolby Atmos other than it's a, it's a good selling point because it sounds cool. Um, that just seems unnecessary. Uh, and then a new uh, HD master uh, for the Blu-ray. Uh, so cool and then everything's the same cool everything oh gosh darn it and it's not showing the thing i didn't see thank you josh for the 333 to make sure it works let me um huh alert box alert box there we go all right sorry that didn't show up in the uh, a little alert thing because i i fucked up that's what i do i fucked up um It's all a conspiracy. This is all a conspiracy. Um, everything's fucked. Life is meaningless. Okay, so a bunch of the same old extras and a 4K of what I assume is the old scan. I don't own the old scan from from Shout Factory, so I don't know how good that is. Uh, but either which way, I am unimpressed and frustrated because this whole double dipping thing, like, look, I, I get if you have an old release... When did when did they live come out here? Like when? Uh, oh, fuck! God damn it! Let's 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 look at this real quick. When did when did they live come out? Um, okay, so it's a 2012 release. That's not eight years. Okay, um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, but like I don't know. The, like the fact that they were like so gung ho about that Blu-ray, and then it's just a Im I think it's the immediacy. Like as soon as they sell out, boom, 4K. Uh, drives me a little nuts. 
But, you know, if you want this, if you haven't bought They Live Before and you're okay shelling out $35 uh, for it, then uh, dope. Dope, dope, dope. I assume. I assume it looks it, it looks great. I don't know. But um, I don't know. I don't care for these tactics. Uh, next up, uh, the rental. So uh, that new, uh, is it Dave? Is it Dave Franco? Is that the one? Which one is it? No, this is the other one. Yeah, no, it's the right one. Okay. Uh, this unnerving and sophisticated debut thriller from Dave Franco. I haven't watched this. Uh, I've watched like nothing new. I am the worst when it comes to keeping up with new movies, but uh, Shout Factory is releasing it. It's reasonably inexpensive, I guess. Um, let's see. You get an uh, basically nothing for bonus features unless they change that, which I highly doubt they will. And that's coming out December 1st. Um, cool. If you really want to watch the rental or you really liked it when you saw it, then you, you could fucking get it. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, so moving on from Shout Factory, because I don't want to talk about Shout Factory, Shout Factory anymore. Uh, what's next? Uh, Mad Max 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Uh, we've got some updated technical specs and bonus features per Blu-ray.com. Uh, so first off, Dolby Vision HDR presentation of the film. Dang, dang, dang. Um, we get, uh, um, I don't know how many of these we talked about before, but whatever um audio commentary with art director john dowding uh cinematographer david egby and special effects artist chris murray moderated by tim ridge uh australian 5.1 surround and 2.0 lossless mono so you can hear mel gibson the way he was supposed to be heard well no because you're not going to hear him screaming that much but yeah you get it Matt, what did you think? Uh, Matt the Wan, uh, what did you think of Don't Touch, Tor Don't Torture a Duckling and Shock Treatment? I, uh, I hope you liked them. I'd be really, that's awkward if you didn't like them. Uh, <laughs> uh, guys, that new, dude, that new Dune trailer does look fucking great. I don't care what anybody says. I, I love that visual style. Let's see here. Did you watch The Head? That's a good question. Did you watch The Head? Everybody needs to go watch The Head. Come on. Um, like just, it's, it's very simple. Here's what you do. Uh, you open up a new tab on your computer thing. You go to amazon.com, type in the head. You add Danny Richmond to it. You also add Michael Keane, but I use, I use Danny. And then right there, you see it, you click on it. Oh, and you, you just, you just, you, you, you press the purchase button cause it's going to change your fucking life. It won't actually change your life, but I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, but it, that's, that's. That's that's the movie I, I highly recommend because I, I love money um, and it has overall really good reviews. Do we have any new reviews? No, we don't have any new reviews. So if you have, if you have watched the head, uh, don't forget to leave a review on the Amazon Prime. Now, if you don't want to if you don't want to use the Amazon Prime, um, let's see Vimeo dot com uh, the head. I don't know how easy this is to find. God damn you straight to hell. Okay. Well, you can you can go through the link in the down below for the Vimeo link and it's it's in there. It's hard to find it on Vimeo without going by the link. But if you want to not support Amazon, go to Vimeo. You can also watch it there. Uh check it out, man. Check it out. Anyway, back to our main story. Uh Australian 5.1 surround, uh, U.S. English dubbed mono soundtrack as well, in case you don't want to listen to Mel Gibson's voice. Uh, let's see. Got interviews. You got audio commentary. You got everything kind of... Mel Gibson, Birth of a Superstar. Uh, birth of a Racist. Uh, Mad Max, The Film Phenomenon. Uh, a bunch of old stuff carried over. And then um, it says here, a brand new interview with director George Miller is expected to be included on the upcoming release as well. So pretty packed, pretty packed and exciting uh i just i love the artwork i love that it's kino i love that it's mad max i really hope that uh i don't know who has rights to road warrior but i would really love to see that as well anyway moving on let's just dig on through all these uh so according to diabolic dvd this is very frustrating for me uh i just want to read it out here uh, a quick update on the u.s release of the hodorowski box set universal music that distributes the title does not have the finished product yet even though it is due out next week uh this is after um they already um pushed it a little bit uh 
This either means it is going to be delayed again or will just arrive late and we will scramble to ship ASAP. Either scenario means it will likely not be on time. Fuck me in the butt. I am not having any luck. I am I am I am not having a good time. Um <laughs> oh, oh, not having a good time. Uh so I I'm I was foolish. I was foolish. Uh, I I ordered from ABC Co. or however the fuck you're supposed to say it. Instead of ordering the Arrow, even though of course, um, you know, I think the Arrow is region free. I might be wrong about that, but either way, I have a region free player, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and I chose ABC Co. And this was a mistake. I also, oddly enough, uh, ordered uh, Gamera. I ordered that from Diabolic. It got lost in the mail. I don't know if I'll ever see it. Uh, so I just, this is apropos of nothing. Uh, I also ordered a new Gamera set. Um, well, anyway, my wife ordered the first Gamera. So technically, this is my first time spending money on it. But collectively, as a unit, we have now spent a fuckload of money on Gamera. And I will never get any of these Blu-rays in time, ever. Uh, this is this is the way of the Michael. This is the way of the Michael. Uh, for the new Gamera, I got it from uh, Grand House Video. <sighs> is it going to come out this year? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Let's see here. So, yeah. Arrow, uh, if you order from Arrow, good for you. You're rocking and rolling. If you didn't order from Arrow, if you ordered from ABC Co., well, go fuck yourself. Or ordered the U.S. version, I guess. Uh, go fuck yourself. So that's great. Um, also, uh, I noticed this right below this post. This is from September 4th. So it's a little older. Um, five days older. Uh, as promised, our exclusive edition of Freak Maker, a.k.a. Mutations, is now on sale for one week only. So that means, it, I, if my math is correct, uh, it's available for 20 bucks uh, through the 11th. So if we go over there, you can see this dope shit. Actually, let's, let's do a... Uh, I, don't, I didn't bring this up already because I'm an idiot, but let's go ahead and let's look up a trailer for Freak Maker so that we can know exactly what we're talking about here. This will work. Relax. Get ready to have fun. Because you've got a date with somebody special. The walking, crawling nightmares from the pits of hell. The mutations. Oh. Donald Pleasance, slumming it, just slumming it. Oh man, I hope that's not the audience reaction to the film itself. I love that freak makeup, by the way. That is some quality freak monster makeup. Wouldn't it be awkward if that was an actual guy? Oh fuck yes! Going to have a drink with us to help celebrate Kathy's birthday. You expect me to sit down with a bunch of freaks? Wait, is that a real guy? Honestly, not sure. I'm gonna feel really bad if that's a real guy. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! So much happening. Bearded lady. Eyeball dude. Skinny chick. Whatever the fuck that is. Million years. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. And only 24 hours to create the mutations. It's not nice to fool with mother nature. It's not. Horrifying. It's not nice to... The <laughs> Yo, don't fuck with Mother Nature. Now I gotta, I gotta look up. I gotta find out if I was being insensitive or not. So, wait, does that say Tom Baker? Who's Scott Antony? I don't know. I don't know. At some point, I added this to my my watch list, though. Let's see here. Oh. Oh, that is Tom Baker in makeup. Holy shit. 
That is fucking rad. That is rad as hell. That's what that is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you can watch that on Prime, by the way, if you want to. So that's that's dope. So you can you can check it out beforehand, but if you're going to check it out in uh, research to see if you want to buy it, I suggest doing that fast because you can get it with a good deal uh, over at Diabolic DVD. 20 bucks. Not bad. I already added it to my cart. Not sure if I'll actually buy it because I am uh, bleeding money, but uh, that is uh, that is exciting. I am really, really into that. Just let, as long as we're at Diabolic. I do love Diabolic. Let's see if they have anything notable. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't really see anything of note. That's curious, but to DVD. This is, uh, this is a Blu-ray show, man. Uh, the comic is on sale. Let's see how the comic is price wise 25 bucks for the comic so anyway boop um so uh this is another thing uh, i think some people were talking in the chat about this just a moment ago uh so uh, apparently arrow video is per down of the discs uh have a huge 80 slash release on the way while we while he didn't go into detail it's still really exciting news let the speculation begin uh per callum waddell 88 films arrow have one of the biggest slasher films of the 1980s coming up from what a little birdie tells me so this is secondhand information um but uh i'm, I'm getting there matt fucking hold your hold your hold, hold your horses man um so uh you know people you know he knows you're alone in fade to black uh, both have 40th anniversaries this year um which i would say fade to black is pretty big i don't know this guy says that's not huge but that's pretty big um, yeah, uh, but I mean, let's see, Arrow have one of the biggest slasher films of the 1980s coming up. That doesn't mean that it's something that hasn't been on Blu-ray before. So it could be that they have like a legitimate big film. Um, I don't like, unless, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, uh, listen to whatever this was. I don't even know what they're, I'm assuming this is a podcast or something, but I, uh, I, I, I don't know any more about the source other than what they said right here uh it could be something big like like a nightmare on elm street uh i don't know who has the rights for that in the uk so you know it could be just a uk release which would be fine by me um you know maybe you know what would be so fucked uh is if they uh if they um is is that the uh, H.G. Lewis, um, H.G. Lewis, the Herschel Gordon Lewis set, the the limited edition? It's big, or is the standard big too? Anyway, um, I haven't seen the dimensions on the standard edition. I'm assuming the standard edition is pretty small. Um, anyway, uh, so it, you know, it it could be that it's something that hasn't been on Blu-ray before. Um, It, it would be hilarious if they got the UK rights to Friday the 13th <laughs> and we got like a sweet 4K Friday the 13th announcement from Arrow. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it could be almost anything as long as it's something that Arrow hasn't released before and doesn't have like a current, like a, like a, a recent release. Um, so is the limited edition... Okay, I got to know now. Um, uh, uh, Arrow limited edition. Pop. Let's see here. Is it still on sale anywhere? Is it actually hot damn summer in the city? Nope, that's not going to work. Jesus Christ. Oh, right. I saw this one. Yeah, okay. I, I remember seeing this and just going like, holy balls. Um, Jesus. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I missed out on that. That was before I really started seriously picking up all these releases. Uh, but I'm dumb. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so, uh, Imprint Films. This is a new Australian company. And uh, Bob Freelander... Um, over on Twitter, he uh, put up some pictures of the releases that he picked up, which, uh, so all credit to, to Bob Freelander. Um, but as you can see, pretty good cases. But the cool thing that I really like that he pointed out is they even have the years on them, which is a pretty nifty way to do it. I think that for, for what they're doing as a company, that's very smart. I like, 
I like the look of that. I like that they are in the um, side loaders. Uh, I really enjoy s- side loaders. And of course, they are all numbered because um, they know how to get people to buy their shit. Uh, and yeah, uh, I don't really have much else to say about this other than they have a version. I, I don't know why I didn't open up the stuff. Um, I'm terrible at what I do. I'm just terrible. I'm not good at what I do, man. That's just the fact is the fact is that, that Michael Keane is not very good at anything he does, but he gets away with it because he has a pretty dope voice. Um, so they have a, oh, they're the ones who are doing the Hammer House of Horror that we talked about last time. That's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, oh, and they have bundle packs, which I don't want this. This is $400. What all is in the bundle pack? I gotta, okay. Includes all imprint films from the third range of releases, limited edition slipcases, and exclusive special features. So Major Dundee, Danger Diabolic, The Day of the Locust, Heart Eight, The Winslow Boy, The Bob Hope Collection, Essential Film Noir Collection, and Jonathan Livingston Siegel. Um, yeah, I don't think that's $400 worth of stuff, I'll be honest with you here. So I, yeah, no. But um, uh, although that Essential Film Noir is pretty expensive. Let's see, what's in there? Essential Film Noir uh, uh, setup. How good is this? Let's let's see here. Framed. Ooh, Glenn Ford. Uh, Elias Neil, Nick Beale. Uh, Detective Story from 51. That's pretty dope. In the Garment Jungle. I don't know that this is really $120 worth. I'm going to be honest here. Uh, now, this is Australian dollars, I assume. So I don't know what that comes out. What is How does Australian dollars uh, compare? I don't know how that works. Let's see here. 400 AUS uh, or AUD. Pfft to usd okay that's not bad okay never mind that's 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 all right St- i mean it, i wouldn't pay nearly 300 dollars for uh that the all well no i mean if i really wanted them that's that's not bad that's not bad um yeah so anyway the point is they have a new uh diabolic a uh, new danger di- a new danger diabolic release um i uh I'm into this, man. I I didn't really want to buy. I mean, it's expensive, uh, but it might be less expensive than the Shout Factory. I don't know. That's uh, I wonder. Oh, we'll we'll get to it eventually. It's not coming out until October. Um, But I really love Danger Diabolic. I think it's a great Mario Bava joint. Uh, I did not want to support Shout Factory's release because I'm petty. Uh, So, you know, here we have an updated commentary with Tim Lucas Video essay by Kat Ellinger. I wonder what... Let's see here. Let's go to Shout Factory. And let's do a little comparison. Let's do a little little comparerino. So let's... Come on. Come on, compu- computer. Computer. You can do this, computer. God fucking... Oh. That's just how they do it. Okay. Where's Matt? There we go. Um, so... Let's see. So they're $23.99. And for this one, God, fuck them straight to hell. So they get a commentary with Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson, two guys I really like to listen to uh, talk about this stuff. But Tim Lucas is also really good, very knowledgeable man. Man. God, that sucks. All right, so how much? I'm not good at math. So I'm just going to go ahead and (laughs) do this thing to USD... Uh, so that's 26 bucks. So it's still more expensive than Shout Factory, but you get a nice little slip case and, uh, with some pretty dope artwork. <sighs> that's tough, man. That's really tough. They both, they both have a short amount of special features. It does not look like it's a new transfer. That's really tough. I am, uh, by the way, I am assuming, uh, purchasing this through like Diabolic DVD or uh, Grindhouse Video. I wouldn't actually be purchasing from Australia because that would be insane. I know that uh, Diabolic DVD is getting uh, imprint releases. So, um, and actually they might already be there. Let's, they might be in the, in the shop. Let's see here. Um, Do, 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 ba, da, bow, bow, ba, da, bow, bow, bow. No, fuck you. Wait, let's see if they have anything from imprint. 
I'm pretty sure they said they were going to be selling imprint. They might just not be on there yet. So that's something to wait out for. But I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty sure they said they were going to be selling imprint. I could be I could be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure. So that might be available at some point. Either way, cool, cool, cool. Uh, dupe, dupe, dupe. All right. So per horror society, um, it's just who I snagged this news from. Uh, Eureka Entertainment to release an Ishiro Honda double feature, The H Man and Battle in Outer Space. Now I already watched this uh, this trailer of theirs. I'm just gonna sh- throw this up again, even though I don't care if it co- I get a copyright strike. This is commentary, man. And this looks dope as hell. That's what this does. This looks dope as hell. First off, and you can't really tell in this stream because it's a stream, but this phys- like this visually looks really good. If you go and you check out this trailer, it looks great. The effects for the actual H-Man are janky as fuck, but I, I, I really like the aesthetic here. Um, and I don't know what kind of film stock this is offhand, but it I lo- like it just is so um, it's so lush. I like the way I like the limited color palette that the film creates. Ah, oh, it's so oh, it's so metal. Y'all ready to watch New York get fucking blasted to shit? It's, oh god, I... Flying saucer action. Those silly spacesuits. Laser guns. And then, oh, it's coming up, it's coming up, it's so good. Boom! Suck in New York. Ah, uh, November 16th, 2020. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, I don't know. I didn't see where. I don't think they have a link. Why don't you have a fucking link, Horror Society? Is there not a... There has to be some way to pre-order this, right? Eureka, H-Man, Battle in Outer Space. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I think so. I think, I think, I think. Nope. This is the old Blu-ray. Hmm. Okay, well, you can get this. All right, maybe this is the new one. I don't know what the... I'm not using Horror Society again. I don't like the way they did this. Um, it's in, it has one left in stock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so buy both Mothra and the Ishiro Honda double feature together now for only 50 Euro? Is that right? 50 pounds? Whatever. Um, limited offer until the end of September or until stock sells out. Yeah. So that actually might be might be worthwhile. I don't know what the shipping comes out to, but that's a pretty dope offer, if I do say so myself. Pretty dope offer indeed. So uh yeah, if you like if you like Japanese um monster mo- oh god. Oh god. Uh, then uh, this is something to something to look out for. You can pre-order those two in Diabolic. Okay. Bye. Ba na da na da na da na da. Yeah. So you can pre-order both on Diabolic. There we go. Here it is. 30 bucks. That's going to set you back for both. I'm assuming this is also 30 bucks. 
Yeah. So 30 bucks. Yeah, that's about the same. So if you really want these, not too bad of a deal. If you don't want them, then uh, less of a good deal because you. why would you buy something you don't want? Come on, man. Be serious. Be real. Come on. Um, all right. Boop. Let me just boop. All right. Um, I don't know why I had a Twitter open here. Uh, all right. So Death Wish 3 is uh, coming out through uh, Scorpion releasing via Ronin Flix. Uh, has, you know, slipcover, all this shit. Um, so uh, new 2020 2K scan from the Inner Positive interview with actor Kirk Taylor, uh, who plays the Giggler, and audio commentary with Paul Talbot, author of Bronson's Loose. Um, you know, I'm not a big Michael Winter fan, but Death Wish 3 is pretty fucking tight. Um, did I get a copy of Lucky? Um, no, I did not. I, uh, I've been, honestly, I've been, um, pulling back on my spending a lot. Uh, I have been spending a fair amount, uh, obviously with Gamera, but, um, I've been trying to be very careful because I... I don't want to get into all my like financial bullshit, but it's basically just pandemic related. Um, and my, my safety net got cut and, um, Oh God, let's see here. Four bucks from all that is man. Uh, I want to share the movies you've seen for the 61 movie challenge so far. Absolutely. Um, so I actually, it's funny you mentioned that I, I just finished before this stream. I finished the newsletter that I'm sending out later. Um, about about this but uh i'll i'll give like a um a general summation um just to finish this out um i fucking hate michael winter movies <laughs> for the most part but i i do enjoy uh the death wish films they're just they're they're so mean spirited to such a ridiculous degree that they 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 pour over into parody um, I'm not a huge fan of the original Death Wish. I do think it's a good film. It's one of the better um, films by that man. Uh, let me go to my profile. This is the easiest way for me to do this. Now don't forget to follow me at Michael Keane if you're still using this hell site. Um, let's see here. Let me just talking about some stuff. Doop a doop a doop a doop. Oh wait, did I just fly right past it? Nope, I did not. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Doop a doop a doop. Doop -doop. There it is. Okay. Spoilers. All right. So um, let's see here. So I, uh, for those who have not heard about this, um, a lot of people in the horror com community uh, are doing a 61 day challenge leading up uh, through October um, or going through October, whatever. Uh, and uh, I saw this. I don't know who came up with this originally, but it's just a way of categorizing uh, each of the films so that you kind of, you know, expand your boundaries a bit. And, uh, oh, that, right, Lucky, I remember now. Okay, yes. Um, I will watch that eventually. I don't know that I'll buy it, but I do love Harry Dean Stanton. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about that movie. That's the problem with, like, talking about movies all the time and, like, new releases. I forget so much um it's ridiculous like i forget most of what i talk about on the show uh because it's just so much information coming at me all the time uh anyway uh let's see here so anyway uh so as you can see it's a whole bunch of different categories i wish there were some other categories here like like erotic horror because i would have another movie today but i don't uh but anyway i saw this don't know who came up with it and i decided to use it uh, so first movie I watched was The Psychic from 1977, uh, directed by Lucio Fulci, and, uh, The Psychic is great. I mean, I don't know what to really say. It is a supernatural giallo film, and I love, I love what Fulci did with Jolly. Um, I think that he had his own special touch that is uniquely Fulci, um, and it just makes me happy. Oh, thank you, Matt. Does that mean I, does that mean, I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah, thank you so much, Matt, for become, for joining the, uh, the Patreon. That's, that's fucking dope as hell, man. Thank you so much. Uh, I like how it's, it says donated or pl I'm sorry, pledged. It does say pledged. I'm very tired. You know what? Now's a good time. As long as I'm fucked out of my, I, I've been working all day. Uh, I've got a bunch of videos coming out. It's going to be wild on this channel soon. Where the fuck is my, oh, there it is. Um, 
So let's just go ahead and while we're we have a few more news items, but nothing too crazy. We're mostly going to be talking about sweet deals. Uh, actually, everything else is sweet deals. So this is basically this might as well be the after show because everything else we're going to be talking about is sweet deals. So let's just go ahead and uh, this is really I haven't I haven't used one of these in so long. There's water in it. Oh, I guess you can't really see. I'm not bubbling it very well. Oh shit. I fucked that up. Oh man. That was heavy. Sorry, that was awkward. I've literally not used um, a bong uh, of any kind in eight years, six years, seven years, something like, something like that. I don't know. Time is meaningless now. Um, thanks again, Dom, by the way. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> Demonetized. All right. So, uh, yeah, the psychic from Lucio Fulci. Um, I don't. I would say I like lizard in a woman's skin a bit more. Um, but I think that, you know, I, what I've learned recently, because I've kind of uh, and you'll see, I've, I've kind of um, started to work on my Fulci. Um, bat, like, um, the, my missing pieces for Fulci, all the movies that I haven't seen. And what I've started to realize is because I've like watched the movies that I kept putting off because I always heard bad things about them. Uh, and what I realized is there's really no such thing post his comedies. Um, there's no such thing as a bad Fulci movie, uh, not including the TV movies he did later. Um, I haven't gotten to a couple of those. and I know that they are um, shockingly bad. Um, so I'm willing to bet that there is a chance that there's some bad movies in there. But as far as his like theatrical releases, um, and even some of his TV movies, they're just all really good. At worst, at worst, they're fascinating, and at best, they're transcendent. Um, and The Psychic is what I would call a pretty fucking good Fulci film. Uh, next up, uh, I kept the train going with Murder Rock, Dancing Death, uh, from 1984, from my 1980s movie. And uh, it's not amazing. <laughs> uh, it is one of, it is lower tier Fulci definitely but it is delightfully sleazy it's it's i, I say this in my in the newsletter to, for the for, for the patreon that uh uh matt joined and you can too um and uh, of course you also get to be part of the discord but if you don't want to be part of the discord it only costs three dollars to get that newsletter that i'll be sending out uh at least once a month probably more probably probably bi-weekly i i might do it i could i i could be i i could do it it's possible i have the power um is there anything else in there? I don't think there's anything else. A little bit. Oh, uh, did I pick up the Graveyards of Honor arrow set? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I wanted to. But that was another one where I was just like, I got to set aside money for this. Can't do that, which sucks. But hey, maybe it'll last long enough to me to, for me to pick it up in a sale later. Uh, just don't expect a review because uh, hard to do. Um, anyway, uh, so Murder Rock, it you know it's it's sleazy without going that full New York Ripper sleaze factor, uh, which I think is um, you know good for Grandma. Uh, it has, uh, an interesting plot. One of those plots that it, it's borderline nonsensical Fulci. Um, but I, uh, I still enjoyed it quite a bit, but you know, lower tier. Um, 
Let's see, Shutter Original for day three was Random Acts of Violence, uh, that Jay Baruchel film that all of Twitter was getting, not all of Twitter, that's that's hyperbolic, but a bunch of people on Twitter were getting their pennies in a bunch for, um, or about, because he, uh, you know, said some dumb stuff to get money, and that got out, and people can't handle people saying dumb stuff, but it was fine. It's it's a movie that is fine. Um Let's see here. Uh, Possession. I did Manhattan Baby, another Lucio Fulci film. And uh, this is one that I was really uncertain about because it was one that I had always heard such fucking awful things. Like everybody was like, if you've never seen a bad Fulci movie, welcome to the welcome to the club. Um, that's, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Manhattan Baby. Uh, I actually really enjoyed it is definitely um, again. I say this in the newsletter, but I'm not, I'm not going to give everything away from the newsletter. Guy, gosh, darn it. Um, they have on the Patreon page. Um, I just I just advertised myself into oblivion. Um, uh, dupe dupe dupe. So Manhattan Baby. Uh, it it is a film that got its budget slashed very heavily uh, before production began, and it it shows. It really really shows. Um, Wow, that shit's hitting me fast. God damn. Uh, <laughs> I thought we had more time. I thought we had more time. Um, but, uh... Well, this would be tough. <laughs> um, but he gets around it. Uh, it's a film that is very focused on eyes. There's a lot of eye close-ups. I think there's more close-ups on eyes than all of Sergio Leone's career in this film and uh, uh I, I like it i like the the weird stylings i like that um you know what it is it's it's like a lovecraft story it's like a proper lovecraft story um i just uh like fulci notably really enjoyed lovecraft it's where he's got he got a lot of ideas um see gates of hell um and uh Uh, I lost it again. <laughs> Matt, you're not wrong. I am a, like that got me aggressively good. I was not expecting that. <sighs> Man. <laughs> I Italians. Uh, so anyway, Manhattan Baby, it's really good. Uh, just really low budget. And it has um, a very strange ending. And it feels very Lovecraftian. And I love it. Um, uh, for Nun Horror, Demonia, uh, another Lucio Fulci film. Um, you know, uh, not great. It's probably it's it's probably the hmm, it might be the worst one I've watched <sighs> of this bunch. It's the worst one I watched. Uh, it, it doesn't quite click right. Like it doesn't. I don't know. There's something missing. I think maybe if they had some scenes um, other than the, the primary loca location, I think, I don't know. I don't know what makes it so weird. I think it's just Fulci late in his career, kind of just, just tossing one off. Um, there's not really, there's no scene that really sticks out as like one of those those Fulci scenes that like just grabs your fucking brain and squeezes for all eternity. Um, there's some cool gore. Um, there's meat attacking a guy which is, is is dope as hell and uh guy gets split in half so like that chicken terrorizer and uh, terrifier um but you know i don't know there's just nothing that memorable about it but it's still you know it's fun it's not a bad movie it's just not particularly um good <laughs> Uh, for vampire film, I watch Love Bites. I actually have a video that I've I've written the script for. And I just need to record it uh, and edit and, and do everything else. Um, but Love Bites, uh, it is a um, well, it's a it's a shot on video. It's shot on uh, umatic tape. Um, so uh, th um, so three quarter inch videotape, uh, and it's basically this this guy wrote a play. And he turned it into this movie that has like two locations, and uh, some some very theat. It, it's 
uh, I don't know. It's a weird gay erotic comedy. That's all I got. Um, watch watch the review when it comes out. Uh, doop doop doop. Uh, so at number let's see number seven, nineteen nineties movie. Uh, Voices from Beyond. Uh, it's it's one of his last two movies, and it's honestly pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it has any like truly standout gore moments from my memory, but it's a very stylish film. Um, and I quite enjoyed it. It's very simple. It feels, it feels like a TV episode. It feels like something you'd see on TV. Um, but with that, 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 that flair, uh, Gothic horror, black Sunday, it's black Sunday. I wanted to revisit it cause I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. And I finally had the Kino Blu-ray and sure enough, it, it slaps, it slaps a hammer into a, a face. Um, let's see. I've only lost like two to four viewers. That's am- that's amazing. That, that's fantastic. Uh, ninth found footage, the McPherson tape, um, is really good and, you know, beat, beat a bunch of movies to the punch and did a pretty good job of it. But the, uh, the aliens look weird. That's all I'm going to say. They, they take me out of it, man, but it's really good. And that, that, that release as a, as a package is, is really solid. I'm, I'm excited for some of those special features. Um, let's see. Number 10, eco horror, uh, color out of space, another Lovecraftian tale. And, um, oddly enough, I've not done my Lovecraft movie yet. So I'm, I've got, I've got plenty in my future. Uh, how am I gaining viewers? How the fuck? Don't watch this. You have better things to do. Come on. This is silly. Buy my fat cat merch. Buy my fat cat merch. Doot doot. Um, yeah. Uh, Colorado Space. Richard Stanley returns to filmmaking. And he does a fucking great job. Uh, I love that Nicolas Cage uses his Vampire's Kiss accent. It took me out for a minute. It was it was tough to digest. But then I, I, I let it have me. Physically. And... Uh, man, it just, it all had me. The visuals were excellent. I love Richard Stanley's interpretation of the effects of the color um, out of space. Um, and it it makes me sad that he's not really made a narrative film in the last 20 years. Um, apparently that was fine by him, I guess. But, you know, it makes me sad we don't have more Richard Stanley movies because, frankly, his filmography is, is, is tiny. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I just, I'm really glad he's back. I really hope his trilogy happens. He said this is going to be a, a Lovecraft trilogy. God, please. Oh, oh. Mm, mm, nom, nom, nom. Uh, I, I need that to be the case. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I love Colorado Space. I will do a, view, a video on it at some point. I will delve the fuck into that movie, and it will it will be a beautiful, passionate time for me. Uh, anyway, back to the show. Um the uh, Hammer film set is available really cheap at deep discount for sixty six sixty one. So let's call it let's call it sixty seven. Sixty seven dollars over uh there. Not a bad price. The one ten I was like, eh, for these twenty films, considering how well Mill Creek has done uh recently, hey, that's a pretty good price. Sixty seven bucks. But you can also get it for sixty five ninety nine, which I believe we just call sixty six dollars. Um so you can pre-order that comes out in November. I do not think it will sell out. So if you just want to wait for it to go even cheaper or wait for a bit, I think you're going to be okay. Um, oh, and yeah, uh, Matt's very correct. I, I pointed that out in the, uh, uh, discord actually. So, um, but, uh, so this set, I believe the first, it covers the first four hammer sets. I think the, cause the fifth one is the newest one. Uh, so yeah, the first four, I believe, three and a half or four um, sets from Indicator, uh, one of which is sold out and is really expensive now. So, uh, you know, that's a good cheap way of getting those. Oh, uh, Casey, you can, you can finish. You can finish it. You can finish my weird smoothie. (laughs) Um, Yeah, really good purchase if you don't have the Indicator set. I assume that they're going to be pretty good transfers. Um... Oh, Caitlin's right. The that uh, um, Richard Stanley documentary, which I think is on Shutter, I could be wrong about that. I am very high right now, so anything is possible. Um, uh, 
really good documentary. All right, uh, doop a doop a doop pop. Uh, also, coming finally around to this uh, at the um, after the after show, we're getting back into the news. Uh, American Horror Project Volume One Standard Edition is going on sale soon. Um, fuck, I totally forgot to get the date. Eleven. Okay, November tenth. There we go. Uh, November tenth. Thirty-five bucks. Uh, it's standard edition, so you could just wait for the sale. Um, I probably won't get this just because I already own two of those movies, but I also could get it just to own the, t I don't know, either which way that's going to be popping on down in November. And then of course the Herschel Gordon Lewis feast box, standard edition arrow, uh, Blu-ray, uh, 14, the Godfather of Gore's finest attractions restored from original and best surviving vault materials. Um, I will, I will probably grab that because, um, fuck yeah, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Love that guy. Um, and I don't know what all is... I don't think anything's missing from the main set. I think it's just... I think it's a sm smaller number of discs. It doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, a uh, cheap way to own a whole bunch of very important films. Oh, uh, documentary missing. Okay. Oh yeah, man! You gotta give me them picks, man. You gotta give me them picks. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all she wrote, man. That's all she wrote. Doop a doop a doop. Man. Yeah, I don't see anything about the documentary. I don't think. This is a lot of a lot of stuff for my eyeballs right now. Mm, I'm at fill your teeth mode, which oof. Ever see what shit? The trip to the moon, Blu-ray. Just a little high, I said. Just a little high. Mistakes were made. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say. I think that's it. Uh, let me double check. Let's see. Script Rooney. Yeah. Do 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 Let's see. Boop. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I want to be the dancing monkey for you guys, but I don't really know what to what to do with this newfound um, altitude I'm at. I do not know. So, yeah. <laughs> Dom, thank you so much for the uh, for the bong. I really appreciate it. Um, if any other patrons want to send me uh, glassware, uh, I'm more than happy to accept it. And, uh, yeah. Not, many, not much activity in the old chat box. I'm going to say this is going to be my sign-off, man. Um, this, is a, this is a quickie. We did less than an hour on the actual show. You're right. You're right, Caitlin. You've got me. Uh. Oh, wait. Um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Guys, go watch a movie.